guys so I was just making some little uh, mushroom tags and I thought I would um, pop the camera on and just quickly show you what I'm doing nothing difficult um, <laughs> my hand is still in a brace I've quickly taken it off just to come into my room and do a little bit of crafting I'm so bored sitting on the uh, lounge watching TV with my leg up all day so all I've done this is just what I was making I was thinking of um, making just a whole bunch of different mushroom tags because I bought some mushroom stamps and they're so cute this is the one that I'm using the little little mushrooms so all I've done I've glued book pages together this was uh, just three three book pages just to make it you know sturdy like cardboard and um, you know these book pages honestly I've got so many book page blocks that I need to use up and so I thought I'm just going to I think there was ten stamps on here oh no eight um, I was going to just make 10 different uh, mushroom stamps, maybe using book pages or my scrap box or stuff around my desk, I don't know. Anyway, so I've got some book pages. I've glued three together. And I've got some, these are coffee dyed papers, but they were ones that turned out really grungy. Um, I don't think they were all done in the same batch they were just separate batches and the really grungy ones i usually just chuck aside and i don't know use them for whatever look at this one this is some sort of final notice oops i shouldn't probably shouldn't show a lot of these papers they're um got printing on the other side and these are some that my um husband has brought home brought home from work they're out of the uh, you know the recycle bin you have in the photocopy room um, this is the non-security stuff so the security stuff goes in a separate bin and gets shredded sent for shredding so this is the non-security stuff but still um, if it's got addresses and stuff like that um, I don't use it in journals, but I do use it to back onto stuff. So something like this. Actually, this has got nothing confidential except the company name down the bottom, I suppose. But it looks like some page out of a contract. There's no addresses or names or anything. But since it's got his company name down the bottom, I, I wouldn't use it in a, in a journal unless I cut that off. But mostly what I use these for, yeah, just backing onto tags to make tags. You know, you might have magazine images or like I've got a basket here. Um, these are things that I just use to make tags and pockets and stuff like that. They're just magazine images. Um, actually most of these I think are from magazines magazines, books, newspapers some of them are from art magazines like look at this, isn't that beautiful really really pretty I love that I'd love to be able to paint like this really really beautiful style it's from a magazine so sometimes when they've got really pretty pictures I'll just use them to make tags and stuff <laughs> there's a ticket this was out of an art magazine as well it was uh, for a gallery showing some of these I'll use for collages look at this remember what this was off 
Um, it does look like maybe it was off the cover of one of, or the back page of one of the art magazines because it's quite thick cardboard. Some of them, if I know somebody is doing a journal in a particular style, um, isn't that pretty? I don't know. I, I love old coin pictures as well. But I mean, if I had, you know, a mushroom page in here and I knew someone was doing a mushroom journal, I would send it to them kind of thing. Some of these are just out of paperbacks and, you know autobiographies and stuff where they put family pictures in and stuff like that you know some of them like this picture this one's really beautiful so I'll cut that out I'll ink it up a bit to make it look like an old photo see look at this isn't that gorgeous These, some of these are out of paperbacks where they've got pictures in them. Anyway, so, yeah, these papers with printing on one side, um, they're just good to use as um, backing for tags and stuff. So that's what I've done with these. So I've glued three book pages together and I've cut them, uh, I don't know, look, I don't measure. They're all, you see, they're all slightly different sizes but I think I cut them about four centimeters by about 12 centimeters or something back this with the coffee dyed paper since you know it doesn't matter if there's printing on one side then I've just um, stamped them this was the first one I did I used some brown ink. This was a little ink pad um, that Denise Howard sent me. She sent me a little set of little coloured inks. Hi Denise! And I was going to use those but then um, Sue Freeman sent me this in the Happy Mail, the last video. <laughs> Look at my hands! I can't even stamp or ink anything without getting grotty. Um, Sue sent this and I and I stamped another one and I, I really liked that colour more I might use this as another stamp that I think this brown one will look nice on anyway so you'll, you'll see these coffee dyed papers they were really grungy but some corners were grungier than others so I wanted the little mushroom tags to be really grungy so I've used the edges that were really dark so usually if I were to make these I would glue a coffee dyed page straight onto this whole thing and then cut it up but <laughs> because I had to be difficult and I wanted the grungy edge um, on each tag what I did was I cut them up first and then I went um, gluing it to the edge of the page that had the really grungy edge just means it took me a little bit longer but yeah, I think they look really cute so they're so simple just book page coffee dyed paper and a stamp this one's a bit pale I might grunge this one up a bit more there Oh, and I've uh, rounded the corners and popped a hole in them. This one's my favourite. Isn't that gorgeous? So grungy and delicious. I don't know what book I've used. I hope there's nothing naughty on the back. I kind of didn't check. I probably should have. <laughs> oh, well. <laughs> If you get a journal from me or something with one of these in there and there's something naughty on the back, yeah, just stick some another page over it. Sometimes I check, but to be honest, even if I check, I feel like I'm going to miss them because you can't read every little page. I'm a fast reader as well, but I suppose you don't have to read it. Just have a look for certain words. 
I think this book's okay. Anyway, so that's all I've been up to. Just making a few of those. Um, it's something I can do um, without putting too much pressure on my hand. Look at this one. But this one page. I love how this page came up. So I'll use this for something mushroomy as well. But um, I know they're super duper easy, but to be honest, I don't think like when you make journals, not everything has to be such a um, you know, so difficult, or it not everything has to uh, take an hour to make every little tag, you know. I just think they're so nice when they're grungy and simple. And this is something anyone can make. And if you don't have a little mushroom stamp, you can just put a little picture there. Draw a mushroom if you're a good little drawer. Stick a little picture on. I don't know. Anything. I think they look even just cute, exactly like this. You don't even need to put a stamp or a picture. I think they're really super cute just like that i like these skinny tags i think they're really really cute anyway so i thought i'd stop in and say hello and i hope everyone had a nice christmas and santa brought you lots of presents oh i did i did um say i was going to open my happy all my happy mail christmas morning but um I've had the flu really bad the past week and it is heaps better now but um Christmas morning it was still pretty bad and when I filmed um Sue Freeman's Happy Mail opening um honestly it took me about an hour to edit because I would I had to keep coughing and um I was sneezing and blowing my nose so if you've watched that video You'll see all these little snips taken out of it. And, um, yeah, so I thought, oh, even though I had said I was going to open all my other Happy Mail Christmas morning, I didn't end up doing it because I didn't want to spend an hour on every video um, cutting out all my sneezing and coughing. So I thought I'll just leave it. And uh, I've had some of them a couple of weeks. Sorry, guys. I know it's really bad. I, it probably seems like I'm really ungrateful, now, and I'm so not. I'm, I'm, I'm super duper grateful. I just, um, I don't know. I just feel like I've had a string of bad luck. And um, Chrissy, I know Chrissy told me, "Suck it up, princess." That's something I'd say to you, Paul. But um. Yeah, so I'm just going to wait. Uh, since some of them I've had for so long, I thought another day or two won't hurt. So I'm coughing. I'm not coughing at all now, um, just at night. So I think I'll be right to film and open them and film tomorrow morning without having to waste an hour editing. Anyway, that's my little... Well, this is the first of my little grungy mushroom tags. Hope you like them. I know grungy is not everyone's thing. I just love them. I want to super coffee dye some. See this one? How it's got the grey there. Um, this was from, it was a really windy day. And sometimes when it's windy, I just stack a pile of papers on a tray and um i coffee dye them like normal i dunk them lay them flat and sometimes i just pile them and let leave them to dry overnight and um <clears throat> the the papers i found that touch the metal tray in the morning they've always got these gray marks for some reason there are some gray marks on the tray but i actually like them let me show you 
like this is one they they have these little gray marks from where it touches the gray marks on the tray they're like you know the tray it's really old and burnt and grungy like it's only used for coffee dyeing um but anyway i i love how they turn out so i i do use those as well anyway thank you sue for this i really love it i'm not sure what color is it what is it ganache it looks more like a black than a brown anyway these are these are as simple as you can get and the great thing is you can make a whole bunch super duper quick and just pop them aside for journals or happy mails or whatever i don't know what i'm going to do with them i just wanted to use my mushroom stamps <laughs> i have been making a mushroom journal um that's been in the works forever and um but i don't like the I painted mushrooms on the front of the journal cover and I just don't like them. I'll keep gessoing over it. I might have to just uh, ditch that paint on the cover idea and do something else. We'll see. Anyway, that's it. thought I'd stop by and, um, yeah, I suppose I'll be back to later to open all my Happy Mail at long last. That's it. Thanks for watching. Bye.